Let me first get your reaction to what happened this week. You're a father. You've got two kids who aren't much younger than the kids who were tragically murdered in that school. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel terrible. And listening to Mike talk, it just brings it all back. You know, when, yeah. I, when I deployed to Afghanistan, the people who sent us there, they told us that we were there to keep terrorism at bay. They told us we were there to keep our homes, our families, and our children safe so that only terrorists would be overseas. And now those same people, because they're unwilling or unable to act in Washington, are telling me that despite those deployments, I have to come back here while my kids are doing uh, shooting drills at school. I have to come back. I have to look my six-year-old and my eight-year-old in the eye, and I have to tell them that it didn't work, that their school may become a war zone at any time. It's absolutely insane. I mean, that's an excellent point you made, Lucas, about being sent overseas to keep the terrorists over there so they don't harm us here, and we're being terrorized by mass shooting after, after mass shooting. Um, as, a, as a Marine veteran and a gun owner, what goes through your head when you hear some of the details about what the shooters— um, the, the AR-15, a literal weapon of war— he was able to get this gun and was able to do what he did to innocent children. Why would an 18-year-old need a gun like that? It's absolutely terrible. You know, when 18-year-olds join—look, we're used to 18-year-olds getting assault rifles in the Marine Corps, right? It happens every single day, and you just don't hand an 18-year-old an assault rifle and a pile of ammo and tell him to figure it out or to do whatever he wants to do with it. You make sure they go through training. You make sure they go through observation. They go through all sorts of stuff to make sure that they're able to safely handle that weapon and not do anything bad with it. It's unbelievable that we can just roll out here with, without even comprehensive background checks in this country. And, you know, you talk about what people in Missouri want. People in Missouri, they want the exact same thing that people around this country that want. Republicans, Democrats, independents, gun owners and non-gun owners they all want comprehensive background checks, red flag laws, ways to make sure that these weapons, weapons of war, stay out of the hands of criminals and terrorists.